Hello, my name's Julie and I'm going to show you how to make the um, jewellery box um, from Tonic Studios. It's got 27 dies in this collection. Um, so it's all the dies on here. Um, that one there is the bottom um, side. This is the top for your lid. This is actually the base of the die set and you've got all your mats and layers in there and your details in there like you usually do get with tonic okay and also you get these little ones here which um to make your um locking bit and some extra little feet to put on right so i've gone ahead and i've cut my pieces out so you'll need Two pieces of those and I've put on my mat and layer. Now, I haven't put any details on, just a quick demo just to show you how, how it goes and oh that's what I was going to tell you as well and if you do get stuck tonic I've started to put like instructions in with your die sets but like me I sometimes I'll get a bit muddled when I'm trying to um, work out what to do through written instructions and pictures so I do find it easier when I'm watching a video um, and to make the top bit of your of your lid you'll need two of these and I've just got a glue on my mat and layers there's the base That's the top piece to go on, and we'll start gluing, shall we? I'll put my glasses on as well. There we go. Right. So I think this will be quite quick and easy. Okay, let's get the glue down the bottom. We got like stormy weather over in the UK today. It's been really close down this way for a few days now. And although lots of people in the UK have had really heavy rain. I think I just want to move that down a little bit. That's it. I just um. So like if you were um, doing your detail um, pieces on, you'd need to cut two of this and then cut your detail in. But I've just used some um, nice um, cardstock, patterned cardstock I've used. So. That's it, that's that one done. Now we'll just do this one. my bits over here you've got all your score lines there as well um, I've done it on white. I don't know. Let me have a look at the camera. Oh, yeah, now you can see perfectly, can't you? So I've already um, creased these score lines, so you can see there. And then there'll be another one there, look. Right. And you've got like a little glue tab there. So you can see where I've done all that. Let's just carry on gluing these. I think um, this is easy to do it like this for um, like a video because it's quite quick. I didn't. I have made one already. Um, I made a. What was it? I made a silver and black one. 
thought it'd be nice to make her like a pinky one, girly one. <laughs> So this one goes on here. That's, uh, no, no it's not. I've got it down too far. I couldn't see the score line. Sorry. That's better. Make sure you don't go over the score lines. Just um, come away a little bit. Otherwise you're going to find that you won't be able to fold up your... It won't fit together when... Um, you're trying to, you know, put it all, place it all together. Now, take these two pieces and you're going to fix them together. No, you're not. You're going to take... <laughs> these two pieces and you're going to fix them together okay just on this glue tab there that's the top one silly person so we're just gonna i'm just gonna rub that out a little bit because i like to get it right up to the edges let me see let's see you can see there can't you To the score line she says and then moves it oh come on stick down that's it give it a good press now the best thing is to do is to turn it over this is going to be your base and start with the long edge bit here, put it that way up and you're going to start gluing along there. Start along there first, glue that on. doesn't take long to glue, especially if you've got a, fi a quick fixing glue and you don't put too much on. I like to put a thin, a thin layer on like that and then just smooth it out. I don't have my glue to... Yeah, I want it that side, don't I? Yeah. I'm trying to do this in a hurry, you know. <laughs> I'm th I don't want it to storm whilst I've got everything on. Might do that. Make sure that's stuck in. And then what you're going to do is glue along there now, glue along there, glue along there and then you're going to bring this up and round okay but make sure that it's right up against this let me turn it round that way make sure, you see this flap, make sure it's really up against there like that okay so you need that right up against there and then you should be able to, it should all form around all right, all right, let's um, carry on. And it does, you can put double sided tape if you, you know, the red liner tape if you want. But as some of you know, like if it gets too hot where you are, um, sometimes that does come off, it does start to peel away. And what I tend to do, I tend to do all these at the same time. going everywhere. Just to right, I'm going to bring that up. So you just bring it up.
keep pressing it in. Try and keep it as level as you can as you're going as well. Right, now we're going to do this one. down a little bit. That's it. There. And you can get your fingers in, give it a good old press if you that's it. That's that bit done. It's quite easy isn't it? So now you come along and uh, you do the same with your top piece all over there. That's it. So now we're going to put some glue on here in this tab. Trying to find the camera for you so, so you can see. Up to the score line, but not over. Right. This one you can glue all the way around, like you normally would. Just with an air. Come like that. Okay. I'm making this look really, um, really fiddly and it's not. There you go. Try and keep my fingers out of the way so you can see. That's it. Just hold it for a second. Right, and then you've got these little um, side pieces down here. So you just need to glue these as well. Once you get all these glued on it gets a bit more stable. fingers are a little bit thicker than most people's. Um, I've got rheumatoid arthritis so they do look a bit, they do get in the way sometimes. Right, you see it's starting to come together now. And we've got the last one to go. over hanging. Give it try and get it as straight as you can. And these, these bits come in like that. Alright. Now I like to um, put a piece of white card on the base like 
the base um, cardstock. Once you've got that top on, it all line, aligns itself. So if you can see there, like that. Stay on. And then what I've done is, get that piece out of the way. So spare a bit, a bit of card. I like to put another piece on top of there, like that. So all that does really is decoration and um, it reinforces your box, makes it stronger doesn't it? The, the um, white cardstock is um, 240, uh, what's this one? I think this one I'm using with the roses on is 250, I may be wrong. Right. Now I've done that, I'm just going to push those down there. Now can you see, I've cut out another one and I'm going to put that on there as well. Just to cover all your joins up, makes it look pretty. That's going to go, make sure I don't get glue on there because it'll show up like nobody's business, won't it? Just pop it in there. Now, I have, um, are these the ones I want? Yes, I think they are. Not that one. Uh, yes, it is that one. I should have another one of as I said. So we'll do the bottom we'll do the bottom first and then we'll work our way up. So what I done was I cut the same as what I done for the outside and these are gonna be for the inside. A bit, it's all curling up. Sorry, let's just push it down again. That's it. Let's do this one. And it does cover up all your little um, glue tabs when you. I did put glue on there, didn't I? Come on, stick down. It all fall to bits because I haven't put enough glue on there. <laughs> right, let's do this one. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm, I'm building it. I'm building it up. Slide it down a bit. Just have to look out the window. I can hear some banging going on, but I'm not sure whether it's lorries going past on the road or whether it's some else happening. Ugh. up. 
So it's going in there. Get my fingers out of the way. There we go. Now we've got the bottom ones to go on. One of these I think I'm going to have to leave off. I'll tell you for why in a minute. Let's do these two. I'll leave that one there. So those go on. this side I've got glue on there now but I'll have to polish that off later there you go so you've got um, something what looks like that in a moment I haven't done that one for a reason so now we're going to do this one now this piece here is the base and you see these little score lines here you're going to cut along those because you don't need them so you're just going to cut those off and I think I think that's what I've done. I think that is the perfect um, size for the um, for the base to go inside. I'm sure that's what I've done. Let's just see. Well, it's stuck in there now. Uh, I can see, oh yeah, I can see where. Do you know, I really don't see, oh yeah, I can see that now. You have to really trim up right up to that outside. And that again reinforces the box as well because you're putting extra layers of card on. These ones are your shorter sides again. Down. 
Well done there. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, you have to make sure you really you really push that down. Otherwise your um, score lines are not gonna bend over. Oh crikey. That is um that is thundering in the distance, I can hear it. Oops, now I've bent that, now I'm trying to rush. ones in. Some up another one. I'm doing it a bit quick for you. This has happened to stand up. I think I've come a little bit high on, like Jodie did when she was demoing, I've come a little bit high on when I was putting the um, base in. So now I'm just going to trim a little bit off. Those coming over there like that. That one is going to go over that way. Don't worry about those two little bits down there. You're going to glue. Those there. Okay. Take a little bit, when you're building this, take a little bit longer, I would. Now that fits on there like that, okay? Now this bit is a little bit tricky. Where's my bit that I need to, that's it. So now this bit here, you need to put glue on there and then put it inside there, okay? This is, the, oh excuse me, this is the um, tricky bit. Let's just fold it over a little bit more. Can you see where I've got that little bit high? Don't know if I can take that out. No, I can't right now. We'll have to leave it. That's why I was rushing to try and get this done before the storm come. I'm ever so sorry. Right. 
Put it inside carefully. I was going to say gently open it out. And get your fingers inside and just there you go. Right, and then you can press it down with your fingers. Right, let's get these feet on because I keep squashing these feet. These are the little feet. Made this fit on there like that. No. I want to hide, I've just pulled it up a little bit, I want to hide the white card. So you need to cut out four of those. There, so that I go around there like that, and on my silly fingers. I'm fully aware that my fingers sometimes get in the way, and I can't help it. One's come, one's, oh, I need to bend that. One's decided it's going to come off. It's not going to stay on. if you come round to the back because then you can you can see stick stick <laughs> that's um oh I say what have I done to this one probably got glue all over yep where am I going? This way round now. Okay, so that's how we... Oh, let's put that piece in. Now you know where you fix the um, the lid on? This is the last piece you need to glue in to um, hide your join up. You just need to pop that in there like that and that hides all your join. Right. Now, this little bit, you need to, um, it comes flat, like, get it in, let me see, it comes flat like that, you need to do a mountain in the middle, okay, and two valleys on the next two score lines, one either side, so, and then you're going to glue the middle together.
I don't want to glue those two bits yet. And then my little dog's dreaming. Got loads of glue on there now. Right, depending on um, where you want this to go, you will need to um, measure this out a bit so I'm just going to bring it up and see um, how far I need it to roughly about there can you see there you go see that's going to glue onto the front so you need it roughly so it's like that don't you this coming this up to the edge of the papers there Let's get some more glue. Put my glasses on. Let's see if I can get that glue off in a minute. So. What is that? Is that central? Let's just pop that right. Pop that like that. Okay. Obviously, don't put no glue on this bottom piece because um, that is going to go over there. So we've just got like a little piece there to bend up. So it's only up until this bit here. A piece of card. That's it. So that is going to come over there. I'm just going to. Maybe just bring it up just a little bit. Let me see, I can't see the bit it's straight or not. So and obviously you can put like a little piece of you can put some ribbon through there. Um some of the design team put um kebab skewers through um, so it made it like a little wooden handle to go through so then you can just open it like that and that's your jewelry box done I hope this has helped um, I'll just show you the silver one I've done before I go I'll just nip across some sorry <laughs> where is it over there let me just Now, that's the silver one I've done, and I use the other little um, clasp thing. I think that one's um, the key or something. I think one's the key and one's the clasp, but you can use them for both clasps, can't you? And then um, I use some silver mirror and some um, decorative um, silver um, embossed paper inside of that one so you can see okay so and then you can use like the decorative panels as well so um, yeah they're quite nice they're quite nice little boxes aren't they when you when you're done and I think I think you could get quite a bit in there I'm sorry that one doesn't look so the one I've done today doesn't look so neat because I I tried to hurry because <laughs> of the storm coming. Anyway, I hope that's helped. 
and I'll be back um, very soon and I'll um, yeah I'll see you soon okay then bye